Australian Foreign Minister Julie Bishop is on a three-day official visit to PNG. Ms Bishop arrived this morning in Port Moresby from Canberra and held bilateral talks with her PNG counterpart, Rembing Pato, at the Airways Hotel before engaging in the day's activities. Gabriel Bego reports. Julie Bishop's first engagement today after arriving in Port Moresby was at the Kila Kila Primary School in Port Moresby. She officially opened the two three-storey double classrooms funded by the Australian government through OSAID. She was in the company of NCD Governor Paul Sparkov and Mosby South MP and Sports Minister Justin Tejanko. <laughs> the Australian Foreign Minister later joined Public Service Minister Se Temu, Foreign Affairs and Immigration Minister Rimbing Pato, Aya Education Minister Malakai Tabar for the launching of the Pacific Leadership and Governance present at the Laguna Hotel. Bishop's visit further strengthens and affirms Australia's continued bilateral and historical relations with Papua New Guinea. Australia has always been part of the Papua New Guinea story. We are a friend and neighbour with a shared history and a shared geography. We are partners in the future of our region. Australian companies are also investing heavily with investments worth almost $20 billion. Australia is PNG's largest trading partner, with bilateral trade approaching $7 billion. Australia is therefore refocusing our half a billion dollar a year aid program to help support the PNG economy by supporting PNG's private sector to drive investment and growth as prosperity will provide more employment opportunities and lift a greater number of people out of long-term poverty. Bishop believes through the Pacific Leadership and Governance Presents Initiative, PNG and Australia further strengthens their relations in an effort to develop human resources, especially public servants in PNG, based on core ethics and values. Meanwhile, tomorrow, the Australian Foreign Minister will travel to Wapenamanda in Anga Province for an official engagement there, and later in the evening launch the new Colombo plan. On Sunday, she will have morning tea with Kumul Game Changes and tour the National Museum and Arts Gallery Cultural Exhibition and later depart for Canberra. Gabriel Bego, NBC National News, Port Mosby.